Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the DMAT account dashboard, how does DMAT account works, what is DMAT account and everything. Okay, so first uh, whenever you, this is a desktop, okay, whenever you're opening, you'll get this here, this is a watch list area, there will be five watch list area and in each you can add up to 50. So let's say, what do you have to, how can you add watch list? You just have to type the stock name. Let's say you want to add Reliance. This is basically how to place an order I'm going to tell you, but before that I want to tell you that how, how does DMAT account look like? Because when I had started, I had no idea. I learned by myself. This is the dashboard, which will show you that these are the fund. These are, uh, I have withdrawn all my funds, so these will show you. Then orders here, whatever the orders you have executed or everything. Holdings, which is for long term. Then position is for intraday and funds where you can see the money. And then you can see the statement and everything that is there. Now, I have added the funds just to show you how we can place order. So whenever you are clicking on this, you can see these three lines. Now this is a buy. If you want to buy this stock, you have to click on buy. If you want to sell this stock, Click on sell. This is a market depth. Market depth tells you that how many buyers are there and how many sellers are there. This is a buy side. Total buyers are 6 lakhs around and sellers are 5 lakh 40 thousand. When you click on this, this is chart. So here there will be a chart opened up at this area. Now this is a delete. It will delete this stock and when you click here, now you can see these things are coming up chart, fundamental, technical and all. Set alert. These things should set alert means you can alert it has a, like say, let's say any price you want to set the alert or something like that. Okay. So that is uh, what is our use is first let me go with the how we can trade, how we can place orders. What do you have to do? You have to just click on buy. I'll tell you each and everything. So what is the uh, first now everything has been changed in this the name itself okay this is my i am buying one reliance stock at intraday which is intraday means buying and selling on the same day if i am not selling this stock it will get automatically squared off squared off means it will get automatically sold off by the my broker by zero they will sell it off they have their software they will do it so intraday, this is a market order and this is a limit order. So what does market order means? Here the prices will not show. Whatever the price is currently, suppose that the price is at 2192, it will get automatically sold. But when I'm putting limit order and I can change here, I want to buy only when the prices are going to come at 2190, then only it will be purchased or else it is not going to purchase that stock. And here, here you can see, the margin is required is 227 rupees for this much price. Okay. Now this is about the intraday. How you can buy long term? Here you can see it is written long term. Click on the long term. Long term is also known as cash and carry. CNC which we call. So for long term, you don't have to do anything. Just click on long term. You can purchase. You have to pay the same amount and just buy this. So I'll click on buy, it won't get sold. So I'll just buy, yep. I'll check for Tata Steel. Long term, I have to pay this much. Okay. Now I'll just click on buy. Um, if I'm putting limit order of 353, I'll buy. And whenever the prices will come to 353, it will get automatically sold off from this order. Okay, let me exit this because I'm not, this is just for telling you how you can place the order. Now, again, go for buy. Now, this is how long term you can trade. Now, I'm going to talk about intraday. How do we trade? Cover order. So, most of the people who trades on intraday, they use cover order. First thing, there is a leverage and that is the reason they use. Leverage means if you have 10,000, you can trade up to 1 lakh rupees. Your broker gives you that loan which helps you in trading up to 1 lakh rupees. 
one lakh or two lakh depending on the types of uh, leverage now because of the savvy rules everything is has changed but it is getting changed slowly anyway so for cover order what will happen now if you see i'll just buy one order for intraday at the what is the price of for tata steel at 353.8 i'm buying it Okay, so it has not reached three fifty three point eight yet. So I'll change my order and I'll put it as three fifty four, so that I can easily purchase it. Um, yeah, now I can see it is there in my position. For intraday, just normal intraday order, you have to exit from here directly. You have to exit, put the price. Let's say the price you want to sell is in the limit order. You have to put whatever the price. I'll just put three point five because so that we can go and exit easily. Now uh, yeah, I got sold. That's how you can exit in intraday. Now this is a regular order, by the way. Now I'm talking about the cover order, which is the most favorite order for all the people those who trade in intraday. Here, what happens? Here you have to. Write down the price. You have to edit the price at what price you have to uh, buy. You can go for market or any other whichever you like. And trigger price is your stop loss. So let's say you want to purchase this stock at three fifty three point five, and your stop loss is three fifty two. Okay, let me go with the three fifty just now. The price has been so. I'll just put the price and. it will go there so whatever the price is going to come it has been sold now if you see here this is a co order it has been written now let me go back to the order and here there is a trigger pending and in this what you have to do suppose that now the prices have from 3 i have purchased it at 353.7 it has gone till 354.45 i am in profit i want to sell but how can we sell here the app the stop loss what do you have to you just have to go there and exit it it will get sold automatically that's how you can trade in cover order what are the other orders so the other order is bracket order which is of no use in this what happens because it takes a lot of margin so the price is 354 okay and you have stop loss put at uh, let's say any stop loss you are going to put Stop loss you have put is ninety, and target is also one nine. And trailing stop loss, you have to you have know, put is zero point five. Okay, so that's how it looks like. They have changed, I guess, in the bracket order. So basically, in bracket order, nobody uses this bracket order. in bracket order it takes lot of margin by the way and uh, what you have to do is that uh, first thing will be you have to put the target whatever the target you are going to achieve and the stop loss if the target first is achieved it will get sold and the margin uh, if the stop loss is got to hit means it will hit your stop loss that's all but this order takes lot of margin when it is compared to this uh, zero the oh, sorry cover order now here the margin i can see is showing the same thing there is some so i believe so whatever it is that's how the work it works and it is bit cheesy as well now what is amo amo is after market order now those people who doesn't have time what do they do suppose that tomorrow whatever the uh, like they thought mm, this is good for the long term or whatever it is uh, short term as well today only before 9:15 i'll place an order at 8 o'clock So okay, if Tata Steel is uh, touching 354 by this stock, 354 hundred quantities, it will get purchased at 950 as soon as it touches 354. First thing, that thing. Now, second thing is that this is used for those people who are very busy and they don't have much time. And yes, there is a market order, and this market order will purchase as soon as the market opens. That whatever the price of Tata still is at that time, it will be purchasing that stock. 
so that's how the market order cover uh, limit order cover order regular and bracket order works and same goes for the selling as well selling is a short selling concept so what here you sell first and then buy now here if i if i have to go and check that intraday i'm going and the price is at 354.5 now i purchase this Okay, more sorry. I'm in here more. Three fifty four point five. I put have put it down. Okay, the prices has gone two way. So I'll just put in the market order. So whichever the price is, it is there. It will be purchased here. Here it has been purchased at three fifty four point zero. Now the stock was purchased for. Check the price here. Three fifty four point one zero. When will I be in the profit? See here. When it is falling, then only I am in the profit. I have purchased. I have sold it at higher price. Now I have to purchase back at a lower price. So that's how the short selling works. And so what I will do here? I will just exit this order at market order again, and I will be in the profit of. I'll go to order. And I'll be profit in of three fifty four and three fifty four point one zero. I have sold it at three fifty four point one, and I purchased it at three fifty four. So I made a profit of ten rupees. How does it work? It is not necessary that how can we sell if we don't have the stocks. Let's not go in details. That is not required. What requires is how the short selling works. I'll be making a different video for the short selling purpose. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got to know that how does uh, how to place the order because when I had started like four years back, I was not having any idea how to start. I I knew only I earlier I used to when I started I used to trade in CNC, and when the first time I started trading in intraday, I was getting leverage. You know, I used to call my broker and I was like, how can I get so much of uh, broker? Then he told me that these are the thing. Then I understood the intraday concept. Then I started trading in, in intraday regular order. I didn't I didn't know the short selling concept at that point. Like I was trading initially, I didn't know. So I used to trade like intraday. Then I got to know about the short selling concept. Then I started doing that as well. Then later on, like three years back, after one year of starting all this, after that I got to know about cover order. it took me some time to understand but i understood so if i can understand anyone can understand it this is very easy the stock market is easy the people make it very complex just don't be afraid you have to go through the process it is not a reach making money overnight it's a process it's a run it's a you have to run slowly you have to understand each and everything then only you can you know while playing the cricket uh, whenever the any we get happens they check the ground based on the top they analyze right how ms dhoni analyze every situations so that's how you have to analyze each and every situation what is the news coming in is there any bad news is the market you are going against with the market or flow with the market in just a way suppose that of hardik pandya is good in hitting spinners but he is bad in hitting uh fast bowlers so ms dhoni will send spinners or fast bowlers obviously fast bowlers right just an example so you have to go with the flow of the market not against the market you should always go with the how the water is flowing not against it why do you want to waste your hard earned money so that's it about uh, how to place order thank you so much for watching this if you have any question please drop me and drop me the comment box or uh, drop me a comment in the comment box right? uh, or else drop me a text on instagram i'll be putting more videos thank you so much